In today's video, we're gonna review this really cool video Mr. Beast put out, helping restore sight for a thousand people. Let's get into it. Welcome back, Dr. Kim here with Dr. Eyeball MD, where we focus on everything about ophthalmology, life and medicine, in ophthalmology, oculoplastic surgery, all that cool stuff. So go ahead, follow me over on Instagram as well, Dr. Eyeball MD. Let's jump into this video. Let's do a review of this really cool video that Mr. Beast put out. In this video, we're curing a thousand people's blindness. It's gonna be crazy. Most of us see the world like this. But here's the thing, 200 million people see the world like this. But So right away, you know what he's talking about here is gonna be cataract surgery. When we talk about curing blindness, the one kind of disease in ophthalmology that really lends itself well to a complete and reversible cure is cataract surgery. Things like glaucoma, retinal diseases, neurologic diseases of the eye are less sort of easily corrected with just a quick, simple surgery. So he's definitely talking about cataract surgery here. Let's watch it. I just made it one less. Oh. Wow. She's just one of a thousand blind people we help from around the world. They can't see, but we have all the technology to fix it. Yep, half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh my okay. God. I see okay. everybody. Oh, I can see clear. <laughs> I can jump for joy. So these people are so happy. That this, when you take the patch off after cataract surgery, it's honestly one of the most rewarding things in medicine I've ever felt. All throughout medical school and like halfway through my residency in ophthalmology, I never really experienced that, that feeling of like I was making a real difference all through medical school. I never felt it. And through like the first year and a half of residency. But when you take the patch off a patient's eye that you operated on the day prior for the first time, and they can see, especially if they're like someone your age uh, that has bilateral severe cataracts, where their friends are maybe leading them into clinic because they, they just kind of have to feel their way around. And you do a surgery that may take 15 minutes, you take that patch off uh, and they can see again for the first time in years. That was the first time it really hit me in ophthalmology that like what we were doing was like really something special. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I can see your face, I can see your face, I can see your face. If you're wondering how the surgery allows people to see again, it's because the lens in their eye got so cloudy that they can't see through it. So the surgeon uses a tiny vacuum to suck up the clouded lens. Whoa, it's sucking. And replace it with an artificial one. The surgery is that simple. They can... Okay, when we say the surgery is that simple, I will say it takes years to learn to do it, and it's very technically demanding. Just to be even baseline proficient, you're required to graduate with, I think, I think it's like minimum 80 something surgeries, just to be able to go out and do it. Where I trained, we did over, over 200 uh, in residency for most people. Some get up in the 300 range. Uh, but just to be baseline competent, you have to do hundreds of these surgeries. It's very tedious uh, technical work. It's not that easy. It's not as easy as just sucking out. If you're interested or curious uh, about what goes into that surgery, I have some videos of cataract surgery on the channel. Um, you can see again. <laughs> that reaction is not super uncommon when you have really severe cataracts. You it's pay it's for so my cool. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. You know what? Here's ten thousand dollars. Make your day even better. <laughs> is she okay? We're gonna go fix more people's eyesight. She's squeezing hard. And we're just getting started. We still have 980 lives left. It's interesting, they must have been doing bilateral cataract surgery, which is a little less common. Uh, but patients have two patches on. A lot of times they'll do one eye and then come back and do the other one to later. change. Jeez. There's my watch. I've never seen it before. Oh my God. I had night blindness. I couldn't see. And you just deal with it life. I'm Nolan, by the way. I'm Carl. You're Carl? I know a guy named Carl. Not a good guy. Moment of truth. Wow, you are pretty angry. <laughs> What's it like? What, uh, what do you see? What Blur. How long have you not been able to work for? Four months. Did you hear about the cross-eyed teacher? She couldn't control her pupils. Uh. I'm gonna need anesthetic soon. So just to give you an idea on numbers and like how, how long it would take to do this. So my friends that graduated and are about a year and a half out of training or, you know, in the ballpark of doing around 20 cases in a day, um, really busy surgeons will do upwards of like 40 cases in a day, which is really cranking, really moving. Um, so just to give you an idea of, of how, how this works, they said a 10 minute surgery. A lot of people can do it, you know, faster than that, but 10 minutes is probably a good average. 
Oh man, no cloudiness, no blurriness. Oh, it's perfect. Now, what's it like? I can see everything. I don't need these. Pop, pop. Our next patient is Charlie. You're not able to read any of this text on the TV? I really do think cataract surgery is probably one of the best things we do in medicine from a quality of life standpoint. No, it's an yeah. E or something, I think. He won't know he won 10 grand until after his surgery. I can't wait to see his reaction. Charlie sees everything like this, and it's made him and his family's life extremely difficult. I was a cashier up. My eyes was getting so bad that I couldn't see how much the money to give back. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have the YouTube app on your phone, you could be using it to make a... I, I just want to get my vision back so I can go back to work. And you're going to be really happy after this surgery. We'll see after it. Trust me, you will see. When patients go into surgery, there's a chance that they can get their life back. And for Charlie, if the surgery goes well, he could go back to work. What's it like? Oh, wow. All right, let's see if he... It's unclear exactly when the follow-up is here, if it's same day uh, that they're taking the patch off or next day. I imagine it's the same day, which is good that they're able to see so well right after surgery, because sometimes you can have a little swelling in the cornea of the front part of the eye that can limit the vision a little bit. So it's pretty cool that they're able to see so well right away. You can read it now. What does this say? You just won $10,000. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, it feels good. I didn't think I was ever be able to see it again. Thank you all so much. I don't want to lose none of it. I'll hold on to it. Oh no, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> Donnie, Dr. Nolan. He's not really a doctor, he's a fool. Do you need any help? <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. Wow. And that just haven't been me for the last 62 years. I can actually see your face. That's crazy. It's interesting too how people don't realize uh, that their vision's kind of diminishing over time because it happens slowly. You don't tend to notice it until the surgery's done a lot of times. Then people realize the quality and clarity of vision that they've lost over time. Yeah, I can read this. <laughs> when you come out of the surgery, what's the first thing that you're excited to see? My son, he's been my rock through all of this. Before the operation, you mentioned the first thing you wanted to see was your son. Seeing him, seeing his face, that's what I miss, you know. You're gonna make me cry. No, no, you're good, <laughs> man. You're good. You're really good, man. All right. Oh my God, man. And there you go. <laughs> Don't cry. I can see everybody's facial features now. It's a little blurry with my uh, tears coming out. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Okay. Well, this guy's pretty Yeah, I've been subscribed obviously. to you for like 11 years. Really? Oh my gosh. Jeremiah has been blind in his right eye since he was born, and it's affected his vision his entire life. Are you excited to be able to see out of both? So, cataracts from birth, there's something that we act on pretty quickly, like on the order of weeks, we want to get those out, because if you're really young, that's when your brain is receiving the input from your eye, uh, and if you're not getting that stimulation to the brain, the it will never develop. So by the time you're about six, seven, eight years old, if you haven't gotten that input, if you're older like he is, a lot of times that vision will never come back. It's called cortical blindness or amblyopia. Um, so that's likely what's going on here. I don't know why it's taken so long for him to get to the well, point where he would need cataract surgery. Way. Because Jeremiah was born with cataracts, his right eye never received light. And that means that this surgery only has a 50% chance of So that's of kind working. of what he's talking about there. I think there we'll go ahead and get underway and then yeah. we'll just talk uh, post And while Jeremiah's from, surgery uh, was underway, I met another vision. young man named Satchel. Uh, did they tell you I was gonna be here? No. Good. Oh he had poor vision from birth and almost lost his entire vision after a go-karting accident. All I see is like blur in color. I can barely... So traumatic cataracts are kind of a different ball game. The anatomy can be a little bit more complicated. Things can be a little less stable in the eye when you're operating. Uh, so, so it's a whole different kind of ball game when you're doing uh, traumatic cataracts. At least see like the shapes. Obviously you can't try, right? No, I cannot. And this is the real reason why we're doing this. Blindness can take away parts of your life. And you know, I will want to drive since I can't drive on this at home. Good luck, we'll, we'll see you after the procedure. He mentioned multiple times he really wants to drive after this procedure fixes his eyesight. So I'll see you at the end of the video when we surprise him with a brand new Tesla. But first, let's see if Jeremiah's surgery was successful. Let's do this. How'd it go? <laughs> Good. Yeah? Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. Time. No pressure. 
Everything looks so more clear. Yeah. To make this really cool even more special, got vision back. since you're about to graduate uh, high school and go to college, we wanted to give you fifty thousand dollars to put towards college. Having had a congenital cataract, I didn't even think this was real. Like I'm waiting to wake up. <laughs> oh my god. Now let's check in and see how Satchel's surgery went. Now I don't even see any blur. It's kind of great. How are you feeling? How's life been now? It's been good, you know? I be like looking at the cars and I'm like, wow, I can see that car all the way over there. That's good if you're going to drive it. <laughs> yeah. I have a surprise for you. Do you mind putting on this blindfold? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know it's a little ironic that we just did the surgery. <laughs> if Chris wrecks it, I'll buy another one. Uh, <laughs> got in the Tesla. Literally, I cannot put into where his car feels right now. Have you ever driven a car before? No. I love how we're letting a guy who couldn't see <laughs> World. Because unfortunately, nearly half the population with curable blindness doesn't have access to this surgery. So I wanted to provide this to as many people as possible. So I guess he goes around the world doing this. It's pretty cool. I can see it. As a thank you, because you were just so gracious in this video, we want to make a hundred thousand dollar donation. It'll bring sight to thousands of people. Como le digo, me siento nueva. I see everything. Oh my God, you are so beautiful! <laughs> wow! Thank you, Mr. Beast. Thank you. Thank you. That's pretty awesome. I think a lot of people really underestimate the technical difficulty and everything it takes to get to the point where you can even do that surgery for people, um, but. Honestly, it's one of the coolest things I've ever learned is to learn how to be able to do that surgery uh, because you can get those moments where people are that happy and their lives are that changed. That's so pretty awesome. Um, but anyways, you know, kudos, shout out to Mr. Beast. That's pretty awesome that he did that. Um, definitely a cool cause and a good cause that people I don't think understand is so prevalent in the world. So anyways, good for him. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. <laughs>